Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Yesterday, I talked about three different types of ghosts, and uh, in passing, mentioned the idea that there are a lot more dead people than living. So if ghosts are dead people, why don't we see more ghosts? There's a lot of people that will give you the straight answer, well, that's because ghosts don't exist. And, well, we're not going to go with that idea, because people for all of human history have been seeing something, have had interactions with something that they are convinced, in many cases, are the spirits of deceased people, either friends, family members, or complete strangers. So we're going to start with the assumption that ghosts are real, at least as far as something that represents itself as deceased people. Now, the other thing uh, to keep in mind is that ghost sightings have never been exceptionally regular. They're, they're nothing that everyone always has had happen to them. Uh, there are some people who seem to be predisposed to seeing ghosts, to being affected by haunting phenomenon, to being perceptive of psychic phenomenon. And that's something that, that's very interesting, but also uh, serves as a limiting factor on the number of ghost sightings uh, that would go on. So you only have a certain percentage of the population that is prone to seeing ghosts. And of the population as a whole, children are more prone to seeing ghosts than adults are. And very often, adults will explain away ghost sightings by children as it just being their imagination. Most kids, at some point in time, have imaginary friends. In some cases, those imaginary friends have really complex and detailed backstories that can be researched and confirmed to actually represent real people that the kid would have no way of actually knowing. So, we have not a lot of people uh, are prone to seeing them to begin with. A large portion of those people are children when they're prone to seeing ghosts. We explain away what kids see as just their imagination. So we've already really narrowed the field down uh, as to why we don't see a lot of ghosts. The, the next question is, well, with all of this technology that we have, all of these digital cameras where everyone has a camera with them all the time now. Why aren't we inundated with more photographs of ghosts? Because, hey, people have been taking ghost pictures since there have been cameras. Shouldn't there be more now? Well, the problem is that it's also easier to fake ghost pictures now. So a lot of the ghost pictures that come out that do get circulated around uh, are fakes, plain and simple. Photoshop has made that really easy. There isn't even any effort needed anymore to fake a ghost picture. We're inundated with fakes, which means real ones are probably getting lost in that mix somewhere. Uh, so there's no accurate count that can be had in that space. Uh, there's also the fact that uh, one of the theories of what ghosts are uh, is that they are some form of electromagnetic magnetic energy, or at least some form of energy that can be affected and affect electromagnetic energy. Now, this means that the prevalence of cell phones and wireless internet and all of the electronics that we have around us is really putting a lot of extra noise into the electromagnetic spectrum uh, that we use to see and interact and uh, otherwise detect ghosts. So the tools that we would use to detect them are making it more difficult to detect them. It, it's kind of like being able to pick out one person's voice at a stadium during a rock concert. 
So we've got a lot of noise getting in the way. The other uh, issue, of course, being ghosts are transient things. They are not always there. They are not going to show up on cue, which is a constant frustration for paranormal investigators. Uh, but again, that's just not the case. They are very transient phenomenon. Uh, and once you add that to the fact that not everyone is predisposed to seeing ghosts and the amazing amount of noise that our technology creates, uh, it suddenly becomes less and less surprising that we're not seeing ghosts all the time. Uh, there's also the factor that not everyone who dies becomes a ghost. As a matter of fact, it's very rare uh, all across the board based on every story ever collected for a person to die and then remain a ghost. Heck, even Harry Houdini, who was determined to come back as a ghost, uh, skeptic that he was uh, and everything, uh, hasn't really managed to do that. So it's not a question of uh, intent. It's not a question of it always happens. There's something that, again, predisposes a person to coming back as a ghost. And a lot of those things seem to be unfinished business uh, or a very traumatic death. Uh, but those things can also lead to the non-sentient type of ghosts, the psychic imprints, the replay uh, of the event again and again and again, as opposed to a ghost that you can interact with. So there's not a lot of ghost sightings that actually get reported uh, because people still make fun of people who see ghosts. That, that's another one of my personal pet peeves, is if I see something unusual and I tell people about it, people are going to laugh at me. They're going to tell me I'm just imagining things, and they're not going to put any real effort in to understand what I may have experienced. And that minimizes my experience and degrades me as someone who experiences something. Now, it's one thing to work with someone to figure out what it was that they may have seen and why they think it is what they've said it is. It's another thing to just outright dismiss them. And that prevents a lot of people from saying anything about any odd experiences they have because they don't want to be dismissed and possibly ostracized from their support system. And that's kind of a big problem. And I think that reduces us all as a whole uh, and separates us from what could be a number of common experiences. Uh, this strange and unusual paranormal stuff only being one small corner of that. But there's a lot that we're afraid to talk about because people might make fun of us or think of us differently than we want to be thought of. So that's another limiting factor on the reportage of ghosts. So there's really no way to know exactly how many ghost sightings there are. And it's no real surprise, once you take into account some of the limiting factors to begin with, that we're not inundated with ghostly experiences. Uh, we've never been inundated with ghostly experiences. We're likely never going to see something like in Ghostbusters when all of the dead rise from the grave uh, at the climax of the movie uh, and you just have ghosts everywhere that everyone can see. Personally, I love that. I would pay extra to be in that world. Uh, I would pay extra to live in an actually haunted house. Uh, but nothing's guaranteed like that. So why don't we see more ghosts? Why aren't there ghosts being reported all the time? Well, because there have never been a lot of ghosts. Because people don't see ghosts all the time. Because a lot of people can't see ghosts. And those that do are very often told that they're just imagining it. 
So they write it out of their memory. They forget they've seen them because that's what we do. And then why don't we have more recordings of ghosts? Well, because all of our recording equipment and everything else messes with them, prevents them from being able to be seen. At least that's one theory or one set of theories. So what do you think? Why don't we see ghosts all the time? Why aren't there more reports of ghosts? And uh, the answer isn't just because ghosts don't exist. We'll skip over that one. Uh, so let me know in the comments uh, what you think about the lack of uh, ghosts in the world. And tell me if you have seen one, because I want to hear it. I want to listen and I want to hear your story. And I want to maybe help you figure out what it is that you experienced. It may very well have been a ghost. If you like what I have to say here, uh, give me a thumbs up in the uh, little button down there. If you want to be notified uh, of these as they come out, we've got uh, a few more of these supernatural ones coming up, that's for sure. Uh, subscribe, and you can have it sent right to your inbox so you never miss one of these. And if you know anyone else who's interested in subjects like this or any of the other things I've talked about, uh, share this video, uh, get it out there, get it around, and uh, that's it for today. I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.